Hi, I'm John and welcome to Bright Spark Ideas. Uh, this is a uh, 24 room uh, birdhouse that I built and uh, let me show you how I made it. Okay, I'm just cutting off uh, sections of uh, one foot length for uh, the uh, inside of the birdhouse. <laughs> So I set my router up at uh, 3 16 high and I'm just going to go through and cut the um, groove in here for the petitions and I'm just going to run through this. You don't need to watch every one of these. Um, if you don't have a router, uh, you can do it on the table saw. Uh, cut a couple of uh, cuts through here, um, but uh, whatever works uh, for, for you guys. Um, is easy. You could also flat uh, put uh, a board in here and toenail it in. Uh, I just decided to groove it because that, that works to, for me with the equipment I've got. I've got a table saw and router attached so for me it's convenient if it's not what you have as I said. Very easy to couple of boards and toenail them through. Um, you could, uh, if you're not making a double uh, partition uh, then you can come in obviously from, from the inside. Uh, I found some uh, three-quarter inch chipboard and this is one inch uh, one foot wide by two foot long so this is going to be the base for the um, sparrow condo um, what I've done is I've pre-drilled some holes down here and I'll show you why this is actually pre-drilled out for um, the uh, base where the uh, it's going to sit on a uh, 4x4 post so I'll show you how that's going to work so this is the bottom piece here and this is where we're going to start putting the separation pieces for each condo And the ends are already uh, cut out on the uh, router. So obviously the petitions inside are cut out here. And we're just going to slot in some quarter inch plywood down through here, which is going to give us four in the front four in the back and then we can step it up from here so let me take you through how I did this and um, we can then start putting it all together so I used a couple of clamps here for the video so I can show you um, it's a little easier to uh, put screws in uh, when uh, you've got things clamped down so I'm just going to go ahead and get a couple of screws in okay so I put some screws in at the end here and on the back so that I can uh, make sure that these are in alignment, so I'm doing it upside down, and now I'm just going to come through here and do all of the other um, 
nut screws and then we'll flip it over and figure out how we're going to put the partitions in. For the uh, center dividers, I just took a piece of quarter inch ply and set up my uh, table saw and ripped off a few sections and then I put it on my miter saw and cut up um, some sections, um, kind of, I think it was five and a quarter or five and a half uh, was the, uh, the width of set it up and just cut these in here so now we have a little condo starting to uh, set up with individual uh, rooms um, what I'm going to do next is uh, put another two by uh, one foot um, base on here and then I'm going to build up another section again and we're just good doing that I don't know maybe th three levels and um, then I'm going to add uh, the base on there, set it up, and then I start doing the front and the sides. And we'll just go through that a uh, little bit at a time. But for now, this is uh, beginning to uh, look like a little multi-level birdhouse. Here's another three-quarter inch ply, two feet by one foot and this is going to be the base for the next level. So same as we've done in the previous one, we've got our sections, back and front sections here to lay out. And I'm just going to do exactly what I did with this one. So everything you saw here I'm going to do exactly the same again. I'm going to flip this over, drill out, drill the holes, countersink them, screw these uh, panels on here, and then I'm going to cut the uh, dividers, uh, back and front dividers. And uh, I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to attach these two pieces together. Um, I might just leave it that when I put the side panels on, um, that'll hold it all together. Um, rather than trying to toenail down through here into these pieces because the likelihood is I'll split this wood if I try to do that. Um, so let me figure that out as we go uh, because I'm going to put the front panels up here with the holes in for the birds to come in um, and I haven't quite figured that out yet. This is kind of a work in process. You're coming along for the ride. So let me get this next level done and we'll see uh, how we'll uh, whether to do another level or, um, or whether just to put the sides and the front on. Uh, as I said earlier um, we're in lockdown mode here so I'm just using up material that I have handy in the workshop. As you can see <laughs> some of these uh, petition pieces are uh, rather warped but I don't think the birds are going to mind. Uh, I think uh, that the space is going to be uh, the thing that they're going to be interested in. Um, I did do this a little differently than the bottom section. The top two tiers actually I uh, just nailed together uh, because um, I was actually uh, concerned I was going to run out of uh, nails, uh, excuse me, run out of screws and I need those for the front and the back etc. So I just nailed this together. Um, but uh, I think it's going to be pretty solid. So let's get the front on and get some uh, holes for the birds to get in. Okay, so I drilled part way through on the first side.
Okay, so there's the first row. Um, let me do the next two rows, and that will be the front, one side. I'll repeat the same on the other side, and then figure out about doing the sides and, of course, the roof. So I used a couple of clamps to square up the three levels and all I've done now is I've attached the front uh, with four screws uh, so that I can uh, put some dowels in there as location uh, markers. So um, let me show you how I'm going to do that. So the plan is to drill some dowels into the uh, sides uh, into the uh, condo sections um, so that when I put this panel on they're purely for location they're not to hold it in place um, but if I'm trying to struggle six feet off the ground trying to put this up uh, before I put the screws in um, I want to have a way of locating this front panel to the sides uh, to the uh, sections um, I thought I'd try that so I'm just going to mark I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but uh, hopefully as we move forward you'll get the idea. So I'm just going to mark these, I'm going to drill these through. So I put the six dowels down the edge of the um, front and I've just flushed them up I'm gonna clean these up for, for now and I drilled out the holes in the actual um, individual compartments um, so that uh, they were a little bit bigger all I want to do is just have this as a locator I don't need this to be part of the build other than that when I'm trying to put this onto the uh, body of the uh, condo um, it will locate it until I get the screws in so that was the plan and I think that's probably going to work out okay for me so I'm putting the uh, putting the sides on and I'm only using three quarter inch ply on the sides because the intent here is for the sides to hold the three separate condo compartments together um, so I'm just gonna all I did was just pre-drill and countersink six holes and I popped in the screws so this is uh, the right side I done I'm gonna do the same on the left side and then we'll come around and look at the uh, the front and back again Okay, I'm just going to put the uh, base on. This is the base that uh, the uh, 4x4 post is going to be attached to. And I'll flip it over and show you how I've done that. There's the post is going to go in here and this will be the first level and then I'm going to stack all the other levels on top so I don't have to put the great big thing on top. Just want to give you a quick look at the uh, Sparrow Condo um, now that the sides and uh, the, uh, let's see if I can do this without getting out of focus and making you feel sick so look okay, okay so yeah this is this is uh, what it looks like uh, right now and I'm still trying to figure out how to build the roof with the materials I have on hand and that leads me to another problem in that originally I planned to put individual dowels in each one of these holes 
or underneath uh, each one of these holes uh, as a little perch for the birds uh, to go in. Um, I know they not all birds need perches, but uh, that was my original plan, and I don't have enough dowel uh, to uh, to accomplish that. So I'm working on a plan B to put um, another type of perch underneath uh, each one of these uh, areas here um, to give them something to land on and just to basically sparrows are very gregarious they love to get together and chatter so I thought maybe that would be a good little landing place for them a little balcony so that's my plan B for the perches I had enough uh, one and a half by three quarter um, laying around in the workshop so <clears throat> I've cut six lengths and I'm going to just run these along the router and clean up these edges uh, round them off a little bit and uh, I think that will be my next job uh, to uh, fix those um, before I actually figure out what to do with the roof I just uh, kissed the uh, front edge of each piece on a router and so that it's got a little smooth face on it there I think that's going to work okay um, it's probably going to be a lot quicker than uh, drilling all those holes and adding uh, the dowels so uh, that's going to be my next stage is attaching those to the front and back of the uh, sparrow condo as I'm not a sparrow expert, I just picked an arbitrary number of three quarters of an inch below the hole to put the perch. Um, so what I did was I just flipped it over, marked this, drilled four holes for screws, and what I'm going to do is basically place this here. I'm going to clamp. I'm going to put some glue on it. I'm going to clamp it down, and then I'm going to screw in from the other side, and that should be uh, some pretty solid. Now, of course, I wasn't planning on putting perches there, so my holes that I'd already pre-drilled for uh, fixing the uh, front and back panels to the condo are now in the wrong place. Uh, so I'm going to need to drill some new holes for those. But first of all, I'm just going to get this all done first. Well, I think it's finally beginning to look like a birdhouse. Um, I have no idea if these sparrows are going to like this or not. But it's been a fun project. Uh, I've been having lots of COVID-19 projects, and this is just one of them. Um, so now I've still got to figure out what to do with the roof. Um, I've never done a roof before. I've made lots of little birdhouses, but they were just little individual ones. So let me see if I can come up with a smart idea or in this case a bright spark idea so I finished the frame for the uh, roof um, I was thinking of using some um, three-quarter or a half inch uh, plywood but uh, turns out I didn't have enough in the workshop but I did have plenty of this uh, one and a half by uh, three-quarter inch um, so I've basically made uh, three A-frames and um, some supporting uh, pieces on the side here, uh, these ones here, uh, to hold it in place. Um, and I got a couple of uh, battens inside so that it, uh, I can uh, actually screw it down. And I had some bits of uh, metal that I was able to cut up and uh, uh, provide some support for the A-frame. So. Um, I think that's uh, going to work, um, and uh, now I've got to uh, cut something to put on the top, but I'm running out of materials here, so I'm going to have to see what I can find, and then I can finish this roof off. I found some uh, scrap uh, board lying around, it's not going to be perfect, it's uh, just under half an inch thick I think, uh, but maybe for now. 
um, it will work as the roof and I can always add a new roof at a later date. Uh, I've just held it on right now with uh, three uh, screws each side uh, on each A-frame. I'm going to tick this back off again and I'm going to uh, make the sides here. And then uh, put the roof back on. But I also need to paint this so that's going to be probably my next project. I managed to find a small amount of uh, half inch ply in the workshop so I was able to finish off the sides of the roof. Um, so, oops, uh, there we go. So, there are the two ends on the roof. I can put the roof back on. Um, but I think uh, the next stage is let's paint the outside. Painting is the uh, least favorite part of any of my projects. Um, anyway, I just put a uh, coat of uh, paint on the outside of the, of the uh, birdhouse just to seal it. Um, I'm going to uh, then paint it again on the, uh, over the top of that. Um, and um, this is just really just to uh, seal it off there. Do you remember these? Uh, these are the uh, pieces that I cut out of uh, the front and the back and um, I'm going to use those to make a little sanding drum. Um, all I did was I just uh, glued four of them together, um, put a bolt through here and tied it up. Then I cut a slot, cut a slot down through here and wrapped some uh, sandpaper around it and I'm just going to use this to clean out this hole here um, I put paint on the outside because I want to protect it but I don't want any paint on the inside there's no paint on the inside and I didn't want any paint on the edges here uh, where the birds are going to go in and out so I'm just going to use this to clean up all those holes and um, move on to the next Okay. Here's the finished Sparrow Birdhouse. I love it. I just hope the, uh, the birds love it. I added a couple of wings on the bottom uh, that uh, hopefully will start it rocking uh, backwards and forwards. I'm not sure if it will or not. Anyway, there, there you have the completed project. That's a 24 room sparrow condom.